Save, load, save, load. Save, load, options, load, options, load. Options. Alright guys, welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, I consulted the Twitch chat and they gave me the hint that I have to go higher up. So apparently, the very bottom floor looking thing there is like the basement. I'm on the first floor and so the second floor is higher than I am. So I need to keep going up to find this other chest. Would have been nice to know earlier. You know, if the game had told me it itself, but I'll take what I can get. I just need to track myself another treasure chest ping. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm climbing actually Zelda's tower, so that's actually kind of where I wanted to be right about. Figuring it might be up in her room now. Luckily, we have plenty of stamina foods. Alright. Hey, look, a silent princess. We already read this diary. Zelda's research journal. Yeah, we already read that. Oh, wow. Okay. Big guy sitting in Zelda's room. Big old bit of uh, corruption there. I'm gonna kill him from up here. We don't get to pick up that claymore anymore. Edge of duality. Honestly, this thing's about to break, so swap it off. All right, show me treasure chest. Since there's a treasure chest like right here, right here, which means it's maybe upstairs here. Rubble. Thoroughly checking this place before heading back up the tower rubble bit. Hey, on the top of her room? This Sheikah sensor could be really refined a bit. I wouldn't mind a slightly better version of this as a reward. Oh, that just straight up killed that thing. I love this thing recharging so quickly. Oh, there's something on top of that tower. I like how I'm just wandering around Hyrule Castle. Like, it's so nice at the end game to feel powerful enough to just wander around here like crazy. Oh, it's raining. God damn it. At least we got up here. Nice arrows, okay. Anything in this tunnel?
Come on, I'm just gonna kill you with arrows. Damn it. Oh, you still do damage even as long as, long as you hit their head with the arrow. There we go. Urbosa's fury is ready. Oh, now you're Urbosa's fury is ready so quickly. Is a chest here. Ooh, fancy. I don't think I've been to this one. This is gonna kill me. I'm gonna stand behind a tree. Oh, well, somewhere in Hyrule that's gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm really glad that I'm getting all of these bits and pieces I need to upgrade my uh, armor, though. This is way easier than trying to take off the damn dragons. Where is it hanging for? Very faintly that way. Well, I don't care about that one then, because it's somewhere in the castle, so. Alright, we're getting a strong ping here. Ah! No, stop, stop trying to stop time. It's looting time, not time stopping time. A fancier nope, it's still not an EX chest. Damn it! Can it stop raining, please, so I can climb up a cliff wall without having to stop? This one pointing me. Apparently, I'm not very close to it. Like, I'd like to go right up there. I feel like I'm wandering on a side I never wandered on before. There's an entrance up ahead of me, but I've already been to this area. Um. Well, okay then. Um. That's random. Guardians fallen from the sky. Am I back to the dining hall again? Looped all the way back around to the dining hall, haven't I? So look at that. Alright, well, we already have the piece here. So let's we'll just keep heading up. Get some one of these, like, guard towery things. Well, I see that chest. Let's get that off the radar. As well as kill about three guardians. No, oh, these guys aren't active ones? I thought these were active ones. Alright, rain's finally stopped, so that's gonna speed things up a considerable amount. You know, I could have done there, Revali's Gale. Oh, that's gonna clear up a lot of shit. Oof. Not really all that much. Getting all the way up to kind of 
Ganon way. I don't know what the hell's going on there, but whatever, it's dead. There's chests at the top of each of these things. I'm not dumb enough to go inside and get trapped with Lionels again, though. Rogard Spear. I think we can dump something for that. You know what? Fuck the Frostblade. Let's use all the cool stuff. Treasure chests are not, like, useless stuff. Like, I can always use more arrows and stuff. Am I going too far? I just not explored? Oh my god, I had, actually, around that center room, I never explored any of that place. When I was over here before. I see that Korok rock! It's been ages since we found a Korok. distance on him. And finisher. Oh, no. There we go. It's like it wouldn't die. <laughs> and shit up here that we never explored. Fine then, from the side. It never even occurred to me ever to go up all the way up to the top like this. Apparently chests up here. Urbosa's fury is ready. Alright, 
that's kind of cool. We can just sit up here like this. Any obvious chests or things? That broken tower might have something. It looks like these towers have, like, doors and stuff, but we have no access to them, so... Oh shit, you can gain your stamina back on these pillars? I did not know that. Bet you up at that bell tower there's something fucking awesome. Oh shit, look at that, you can get up on top of Ganon. Huh. I don't want to accidentally get stuck in the boss fight, though. Get up this tower. Unclimbable? All right, there's no chest in this one. Oh, really fucking cool, you can get up here. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. There's some over this way. Hey, Ganon. Tempted to drop a bomb in there, but it probably would activate the boss fight. be completely off or whatnot, but like it's still cool being up here. Getting the pings, so maybe there is something up here. God oh, damn it. Although see if I was a game developer I'd call this like Hyrule Tower or like Hyrule Castle Bell Tower or something, not second floor. How do I get up? Oh, you know what? Ravali! Much nicer. Oh, well, we got a fancy chest. It's not the uh, EX one, but five ancient arrows. That's kind of cool. Still a chest around here. Chit chit ch oh fuck. Really? Ravali, help me cheat. <laughs> to the top! We may need a change of clothing for this. There's probably a Korok, and that is all way up here, but... I was hoping that would be a standpoint. Whatever, we got some food.
It's a Korok. Tallest Korok in the land. And now I'm taking damage from the cold. chat had another clue for me. It'd be very appreciated this time because I don't have a clue where the hell I'm going next. There's still chess pinging, but this, this radar is really bad in a highly vertical area. Oh, shit. Okay, game. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Hey, thanks, Rivali. I'm finding lots of random ass Koroks, that's for sure. There it is. Sneaky son of a bitch. Huh. This is really weird that there's just this room up here. Huh. That's the last piece of our guard armor. Royal Guard Caps. So caps are the uniform for Royals Royal Guard. It's lighter than it looks, easy to move around in. Rather rare find. Alright, that means we just have Ganondorf's armor, but we'll do that after we get one of these other ones. Charge attack stamina up. Eh, it's okay, bonus. Alright. Onward to Revali. So we can get that charging really quickly. Oh, god damn it. Ugh. Stupid map. I have to get out of the Hyrule Castle zone to get the world map again. That was a fun little trip back to Hyrule Castle. Are we out? Finally. Alright. Actually, one thing I did want to check. I'm curious if there's any additional story bits back at town, because you'd think there'd be something else. Like, I, I just feel like it's a little empty. So I'm gonna snoop around, I think, the chief's quarters and whatnot. Maybe there's, like, new dialogue or something, like... Oh, you discovered the secret of Champion Urbosa. Let me regale you with some more tales in another cutscene or something. We'll see if that works. Any day now. I'm sorry you have to let me in. I am a royal guard. You, you cannot throw me out? No. Um... Should also see if any of these new uniforms die well. Excuse me, running through with a sword taller than I am. I'm obviously of a warrior type. Goron cell. Are they just chat? Ooh. Yeah. 
Hi, personal friends with the chief. Thank you. Bye. Fuck's the chief. Oh, god damn it, they're sleeping. What happened? Champions' arms or treasures of the Gurdu, much like that. Yeah, anything happened? Wait. Oh no, that's the sword and shield. <laughs> uh, reacts, they may be precious, but they're power. Make them if needed. Diamond, yep. Only one diamond. High school, a gem, yep. Oh. Anything hidden around? Come on, I just finished your champion's trial. Uh, excuse me, just gonna go, you know, be a creep. Watch the chief sleep. Oh, hey, chief. What's going on? You're not asleep. Sand seal stuff. What? The sand seal stuff animals. Don't worry about them. Just ignore them, okay? <laughs> oh, that's great. Besides, town hero, no, you sh shouldn't come just wandering into someone's room at this time of night. Yes, do you need something? Tell me about Abrosa. Yes, that's what I wanted. Give me more cutscenes. Wish to speak of Lady Arbosa. Hmm, what an interesting request. After Naboris was tamed, they located Lady Arbosa's diary. Since you're here, I shall tell you something from it. Lady Arbosa was a beloved friend whom she thought the world of, the Queen of Hyrule. Such a big heart, our Lady Arbosa was admiral in every aspect of her life. Arbosa's diary is on the sofa. Since she trusted you, I'm certain she wouldn't mind you reading it. <gasps> Sweet. Oh, this is the Chief's Diary. Oh, all right. I don't think we've read this. Valaria told me today that Mother has passed on and gone to a better place. She said that Mother's death means... Oh, yeah, we read this one. Actually, let's go to the last page. Just skip through it. He's returned to us. He seems in need of my family heirloom, the Thunder Helm. I simply land... I want to simply land it to him without a thought, but it is incredibly valuable to my pe myself and our people. I couldn't just hand it over, so I asked him to help solving with some minor problems plaguing the town. It's funny, I used to spend a lot of my time worrying about my people or my ability to lead. Now I look forward to each and every day. I think this hero helped with that. Aw, maybe one day he and I can compete in a sand seal race. Done! Name the time and place. We will totally sand seal race. This one? Urbosa's Diary. Alright, finally, some more lore. Alright, my dear friend came from afar came to visit Gerudo Town today. It's always a pleasure to see the Queen of Hyrule. She described her reason for coming as urgent. She wished for me to meet her newborn child. Her sweet daughter's name is Zelda. She has her mother's smile. I cannot help but cherish her already. I told her that Zelda is sure to grow up into a dignified and beautiful queen, just like her mother. My friend thanked me, but said that looks are fleeting, and instead she wishes for Zelda to be blessed with true happiness. Damn. The way she gazes upon her daughter, her little bird, as she calls her, I have never seen such unconditional love. It has been a long time since we laid my dear friend the Queen to rest. I only now have the will to write again. It was so sudden. I still can't believe she is gone. How did she die? If all my sweet memories ever keep running through my mind, even now I can hardly keep the tears at bay. Aw, she really was a bit good friend. Young Zelda kept her head high, held high as she said her final goodbye to her mother at the funeral. She carried herself as a true princess, but I can sense the deep grief she is hiding within. I worry for her. I made a voyage to visit Hyrule. After speaking with the king, I saw Zelda for the first time in a year. In truth, it was my concern for her that brought me there. The king allowed me to keep her company as she went to the spring for her training. There, Zelda prayed and prayed in the spring's icy waters until the sun set. I told her many times to stop, but she wouldn't listen. I eventually had to drag her out of the water. Yep, that's Urbosa. Zelda gazed at me for the longest time with heartbreaking vulnerability. Eventually, in a tiny voice, she told me of the pressure and panic she feels at not being able to fulfill her sacred duty. She whispered over and over, Why can I not do as the royal daughters of the past have done? What is wrong with me? All I can do is hold her close and listen. I pray that is enough. Aw, Arbosa was like the best mom of the group. Emerseries from Hyrule came to see me today. They informed me that I had been chosen to pilot the Divine Beast. My peoples are, people are uneasy about it. They tell me such a dangerous task is not fitting for the chief. I understand their fear. However, I intend to accept this task. Calamity Ganon's resurrection does not only threaten Hyrule, but the whole world. I refuse to sit idly by. Ganon is also closely associated with, associated with the Gurudu, an association I deeply resent. I believe Zelda will be here soon to receive my official answer. I'm excited to see her as always. I attended the inauguration ceremony alongside the other champions whom I share a fate with. Zelda, Rivali, Mipha, and Link are so young. They are Hyrule's future. Daruk and I hope to help them see the f that future. Aw, oh, so the Daruk's like the dad of the group. Rivali is the annoying older brother. And... yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
However, one thing that did trouble me, Zelda was uncharacteristically cold towards Link. I can imagine why. I hear Link has been assigned to Zelda's Guardian Knight. I hope they find a way to get along. Holy crap, there's a lot of lore. I, you know, wouldn't mind this in a cutscene rather than having to read it all, but I'll take lore. Alright, Link requested to meet, meet with me today. He tells me Zelda exploited our law that restricts men from entering town to slip away from him. Ha ha ha! That's before I had the ability to sneak in whenever I wanted to in women's clothing. I told him of a trick that would allow him entrance, and he was able to get in. But then, however, Zelda was long gone. I promised to let him know if I saw her, so he reluctantly returned home. In a similar yet distinct way, Link seems to have trouble expressing himself. Perhaps the two can help each other. That is, if she ever gives him the chance. Today I accompanied Zelda as she went to research Naboris. When the sun set, the poor exhausted girl drifted to sleep. Sent word to Link, who showed up at Naboris faster than I expected. Oh, this is the scene where they uh, she woke him up with uh, woke uh, Zelda up with lightning. Although it was none of my business, I felt that at least I could do is bridge their gap was to share some things about Zelda. The rest is up to them. Holy shit, this is a, like, long diary. I'm so happy to say that Zelda smiles much more lively lately. It seems she and Link have finally le learned to get along. I hope that this will have a positive effect on her training. However, I am concerned we may be running out of time. Whenever I hear of monster attacks or other unusual events plaguing the kingdom, my concern grows. All I can do is pray that Zelda, my little bird, has enough time. I do not pray to the goddesses, but to her mother, my dearest friend, how I miss her. Aw. Well, that was cool. That was a nice little bit of lore. Do you have anything else to say? Hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay, nothing new there. Oh, cool. We did get a little bit more lore. So that's what I was kind of looking for. All right. I think it's now time to head over to... What is the hell of the name of this town? Rito Village. And, uh, go start up the quest over here. Now, how do I start the quest? I don't remember how I started the other one. Oh, I have to go to the, uh, the thing. The three-pillar thing and then take the pictures. That's what I have to do. All right. Any day now. Must be extra long load time because they're adding stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's get ourselves in Rito gear because kind of need to have the freezing protection. Shit. No, no. Yeah. I want to go down to the first floor. I'm going to go up, figure out where the sheep is. Alright, that's the archer dude. Oh, there's treasure chests in this area. Ah, there's the chief. Hey, chief. Do you have something about Rivali? Like, I can start that? Chief can send and have it answer anything I can. Sword only. Sword that seals the darkness. Oh. Meadow. Um, hmm, maybe I actually have to finish it before he says anything. I would like to know more about Rivali. You happen to have his diary? Like, I'm assuming every one of the Guardians has a diary sitting around now. Oh. Hey, Rivali's diary! Nice! I'm not sure if we were supposed to find it this quickly, but I'll take that. Alright, read the diary, divi uh, diary of Rivali, the Rito legend. What another archery competition today, as one would expect. The village can't stop talking about my winning streak. In short order, I've managed to break all of the previous records and set an insurmountably high bar. And then my ego grew to the size of Ganon. Everywhere I go, I receive praise and affirmations that I am the pride of the Rito. I could get used to this. <laughs> the elder asked me what I would like as a prize for my achievements. I told him I wish for an archery training ground. If I'm going to keep this up, I need somewhere to train at varying elevations. I'm hoping to master a new move I've dreamed up. Keep pushing my archery skills to the limit. My drive is ideal, but the ensuing ac ascent is not as smooth as I wish it was. 
I must return to the flight range again tomorrow. There I will become stronger. Better. I won't rest until I succeed. The Rito children look up to me. I hear they wish to start training at the flight range too. Perhaps it's not a bad idea to allow everyone to use my training space. These are dangerous times after all. He's not such a dick after all. He's just really, really cocky. Tomorrow I'll try a new strategy I've been devising to control the updraft. I refuse to believe it's impossible. He actually works pretty hard too. Damn it, how could I come to respect Ravali? Really? Ah. There's a persistent rumor in town that Calamity Gan's resurrection is imminent. It can't be true, right? A few years ago, scientists dug up an ancient mechanical beast called Meadow. It was supposedly used to fight Ganon. It rules royal families in search of someone to pilot the beast. They say to do so requires something beyond skill. They say one's soul must contain an incredible sacred power for a divine beast to recognize them as master. They should have just asked for me by name. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's the Ravali we know and love. To control the divine beast and defeat the calamity would finally allow me to prove myself to the world. Oh, that's great. My rules princess stopped dawdling and asked me to pilot a divine beast. I asked what our plan was, is. I wish I hadn't. It is completely absurd. The divine beasts are little more than backup for some Hylian knight who is the who has the honor of fighting Calamity Ganon. Me, a sidekick. I thought of declining, but then she looked at me dead in the eye and held my gaze as she said, We must protect the precious life of this land from the Calamity's grasp at all costs. Hyrule needs you, Ravali. It was so corny I almost died, but I won't soon forget the look in her eyes. She meant it with all of her heart. Aww. Big old softy. I thought Hillians only thought of themselves, but I suppose there's an exception to every rule. I thought Hillians were all like me. <laughs> I'm going to accept, of course, but out of self-respect, I'm going to let her sweat it out a bit longer. Wow, Ravali, like my respect level for you just keeps going up and down. A real princess is coming by to ask for my answer tomorrow. She will surely be overcome with joy when I accept. And her timing is exceptional. I am close. So close to mastering my new move and showing everybody what I'm capable of. When they see it, they'll know without a doubt it should be me fighting Ganon instead of that pathetic knight. I can see it now. The king and princess. And the knight. All on their knees begging me to defeat Ganon for them. Yeah. They'll say, please, Master Rivali, please use your otherworldly worldly skills and intellect to defeat Calamity Ganon. Oh, wow. I look forward to that day. This is the best diary. I'm kind of interested in what Mifa's diary is going to contain. I journeyed to the Hyrule Castle for an inauguration ceremony. I now bear the grand title of Champion. Meaningless pomp, if you ask me. If true strength relied, on, relied only on title and uniform, everyone would be a champion. I do like the blue scarf, though. Oh shit, his scarf is part of the uh, champion's gear? That's cool. An annoyingly silent knight was as emotionless as usual. Or that annoyingly silent knight was as emotionless as usual. I can never tell what's on his mind. Likely nothing at all. Dick. Somehow I can't help but believe the stories about him beating adult knights in swordplay when he was only a child. Still, he doesn't stand a chance against me. There is no one alive who can keep up with my aerial combat. That reminds me. It's about time I came up with a fitting name for that new move I created. What kind of name would be worthy? Rivali's something. Tornado? Whirlwind? Masterpiece? Hmm. <laughs> the princesses came to the vill or the princess came to the village on official business, along with her shadow, that insufferable knight. I tried to talk to him while the princess met with the elder, but he was his usual quiet self. Why do people like him so? I also gave him the privilege of seeing me perform Rivali's Gale. Nothing. No reaction at all to my impressive feat. I showed it to him even knowing there was a chance of failure. Still, it's since it's still so new. He must truly be slow-witted. I tried to provoke him into facing me, but to no avail. It's like talking to a stone. Our interactions were a waste of time, so I flew off to find solace with Meadow. What's wrong with that guy? Druk informed me that I've been asked to escort the princess to Lanayru. We're to see the princess off at dawn at the mountain's base and meet her there when she returns at sunset. Must I participate in this nonsense? Though I still remember that look on the princess's face. When she asked me to pilot Divine Beast, she was not only determined, she seemed desperate. She's aware she can't fulfill her sacred duties, and anyone can see how it weighs on her. It's difficult for me to comprehend the troubling, the troubles of the talentless, but I'm trying. 
Wow, he went from dick to softy in the same sentence, even. It's not like I dislike the princess. She tries her hardest. It's simply not good enough. No, I don't think I can spare the time to send her off in the morning, but perhaps I will fly over to greet her at sunset. Perhaps this alleged ceiling power will show her some mercy and finally awaken this time. Wow. So, that's a little bit more about Rovali. And... I need to... There's the shrine. In that. Very, very interesting, Rivali. Ah, I see it over there. Huh. Treasure chest right below me. Or is it down in the water? Huh. I don't know. Volley's Gale! Soon to be, like, infinitely abusable. I don't know where this damn treasure chest is supposed to be. Maybe it's over in the forest area. Isn't there a Hinox in this lake or something? I haven't fought one of those in ages. Damn it, Link. Get back up there. Where's this chest? Oh, it's over here. And there goes the treasure chest, because I burned it to a crisp. Sheesy went flying. Oh, thank you for the arrow. Alright, I honestly don't feel like dealing with these guys, since I... Yeah, just... Ow! Okay, now you just made my shit list. Death from above! Oh, guys, have you heard of Urbosa? She's a different champion than the one you're used to. She packs a mean punch. At least I got the stuff out of the chest. Else over here? Oh. There was a chest this way, huh? Where the hell am I? Have I ever been over in this area? Oh, I see it. Been to this lake. Yep. Yeah, some shock arrows. Struck Lake. Is this new? Have I just never had a reason to be here? Because, like, there's no Koroks found here. I don't think I've ever just trapped. Hold on. I have literally never been in this lake. Huh. I'll bet you there's a Korok or something in that middle there. <laughs> See what's up here. Uh, it wouldn't be an episode with me if I wasn't getting distracted by every little shiny thing in the unexplored area. Luckily, I still have a lot of stamina food. Actually, not as much. I'm gonna have to make some more. Oh, 
Oh, hey, there's just a random 10 to the chest up here. A 10 damage feathered spear. Well, it's got long throw on it. Well, that is a pretty long throw. Wow, I hit the cliff wall. Damn. Hello, secret area. Could this be another one of that Master Thief's hideouts for loot? Nope, just one chest. And a Korok. Guys, I was just about to say, I really need to burn this last Nervosa's Fury. Thanks for helping me with that. Bye! Don't come back. Is that the, the whistly bit of a dragon? Is there a dragon coming through? I've really never been... I've been through that bridge, right? No! I have never traveled that bridge area. Huh. That's really weird. Oh, there's a chest right there. Oh, there's a Korok puzzle. Okay, then I'm getting shit done. Hello. Yeah, you better run. Oh, you're coming back? Okay. I don't mind the free gourmet meat. Alright, the four corners puzzle. Boom. Easy enough. Didn't even have to look very hard on that one. Okay, where the hell am I going? Alright, at least I'm on the right island now, so I just need to go this way. Probably your gale's recharging too slow, but we're gonna fix that with our quest. Actually, not too terribly cold here. Which is nice. Ooh, mining time. Oh yeah. Five uses of a legendary ancient spear to mine a flint and an opal. Oh, I hear Cass. Hey, Cass. Oh, he's right next to the thing. Oh, hey, I remember that split rock area. All right. I applaud your courage in coming here. Mm hmm. Locations that will be that will be revealed to you are the trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Alright, we got a cratered lake looking deal. 
Oh, damn it. Show me the other ones so I don't have to take pictures of them. Bah. Hmm? That's no money, just start glowing. I suppose that proves I didn't imagine it the first time. Oh? Hmm? How long have you been here? Didn't even notice your arrival. Ah, oh, we meet again, and it seems you caught me, well, talking to myself. <laughs> oh. Look at that, there's one here too, one of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Ah, oh. oh, sweet joy, how glorious to sing this moment, or sing this song in front of the real monument. The song my teacher left behind, there's a verse about the trials the champion Rivali overcame. Let me sing it for you. Oh boy. Please be better vert rhymed than last time. Wind's ally soars above the land of or soars the land of cloud. Meadows champion, swift and proud. Now I got the proud part right. Hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. Wow. I never would have known what to do. Oh, actually, yeah, all these would be pretty crappy. Yeah. Shoot the flame dragon's horn. Two. Race down a peak rings adorn. Three. Shoot four targets to win. Champion, the trials begin. So I have to go to the archery range, shoot the dragon, and then do some shield surfing. So did it move you? Not really. Yeah. Confidence they must have taken to the Master Divine Beast. How inspiring. Oh. Teacher's dream is now mine to fill. Unfinished song weighs heavily on a bard's soul. I won't allow it. But in order to see this dream to fruition, I must learn more about the champions of long ago. Thankfully, Tiba and the Ruto village... Elder Kanai told me some wonderful stories of Rito Champion. And this unfinished song still pulls in my heart, and so my hometown is but a stopping point on the journey of mine. Alright, let's go clear out our album. These are a lot harder because of all the slope bits. And that's the snow surfing one. Ugh. Less sun glare, thank you. Alright. So, one of them... Oh shit, where was the snow surfing? It was up this way? Oh, it's probably not at the soul, uh, the surfing place. It's probably just nearby. All right, this one is in a crater between a deserty lake and another aquifer thing. All right, so this lake. Oh, oh, yep, yep, that is the flight range. Okay, so yeah, that one was the flight range. Then we have a ridge line. Got like a little L shape, so that's probably that. Yep, right here. All right, where is it in relation to the L shape? It is over there on the eastern part. So right here. And then our last one is up on a hill with a lake to the west of it. Ah, okay. The upper right is that snowfield area that had, like, all the snow pillars, so it's up this area. So we're looking at, like, right here-ish. I'm pretty sure. And a little bit more west of the peak. No, that's about right. Yeah, I think that's about the right spot. All right, cool. We have our locations. What are the other things I have marked on the map? Uh, 
Just... Those are just leftover pins. Alright. Cool. Um, well, we got five minutes left, so let's hit the archery range, since that is, like, going to be the easiest possible one to do. I just have to shoot four targets. I won't even, like, take skill and effort. Unless it's, like, a different challenge. Didn't I do, like, 20 targets in 30 seconds or something the last time we did this? Something like that. It's like, you better not be cold, Link. Alright, let's just turn the treasure chest sensor off for a bit. Alright, first off- oh! Okay, I don't even have to- oh. Actually, no, I have my snipey bow. There it is. Golden bow. I have to do four of them in one glide. So... Oh, wow, these things are really big. I thought I had to hit the little bit in the center, but no. Boom. Huh. Well, at least they used the lake at the bottom of this place. Alright, since we're going inside of a shrine, I'm gonna throw on my royal guard here. Wear that for a bit. Ow. Probably could have done without falling there and taking that extra heart of damage from the cold, but whatever. Break ice pillars, yep, charge attack, and nothing new too. Alright. The four winds. Okay, let's uh, take the zoom bow off because I don't want that. Not use a bomb arrow on the cliff edge. Okay, I see the thing. Alright, so basically you have to find all the switches, break or hit them, and it gives you all the up gust things that you need. Alright. Oh, a little secret one over here, huh? Pillars, kind of a thing. Yep. All right, so that's the low one. So I'm assuming. Oh, hello. Oh, this one's a dick. This one only opens when you're when you've got a uh, air current on its rotation. Four. Let's get our 
I'm gonna back. Right, that was the bomb one, so we've done that corner. This one must be up higher. Yeah, there's its puzzle. Alright, how do we do this one? Oh, you just go into the side now? Does this shoot it through the bars kind of a thing? Aha! Sneaky, sneaky. I just need to get high enough that I can reach one of the little pads. That one. Stamina back, and then I should be able to carry me all the way to the top. It's designed so that way you can't skip any one of these particular platform levels, because otherwise you won't make it all the way up. Makes sense. Let's bet there's a chest hidden over here. Right behind the spine thing. Alright, game, you're a dick. Make this area that I think I can go. Okay, there's the chest. It's gonna be on that platform thingy. Uh, and I gotta start again. At least I can start at number two. I see, you have to get up the top one. Oh, I see it is. There's a secret hole on the back side that you can get into to get the wind up. Yep. And the chest. For something useless, probably, but whatever. Oh, wow, a uh, shield of the mind's eye. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pass on that. These items are terrible for the, like, level of the, you know, DLC stuff. Like, I'd have, like, some kind of cool, like, golden version or some shit inside these chests. Just something cool. Alright, give me a token for, uh... Meadow? Bomb Meadow, yeah. Alright, one Meadow's emblem. Emble uh, emblem. All right, and then we can go check out the you know, to remain. We'll probably go do shield surfing and then the uh, shooting the dragon next time. Let's so the lookout tower sound the alarm to beat these foes first before they alert others. When fire spreads, catch up. Yeah. They really didn't do a lot with the like spreading fire. Like I'm really hoping. Well, I guess with even with Daruk, there wouldn't be like a foresty area to do it on. Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Let me get some clothes on, so that way I don't freeze. Let's see, do I need two pieces? Nope, just one. Alright. So, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe for more, and we'll be back with some more uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild next time.